One. Cheers. Here is our coffee cup, and we're going to explain how we get, as you saw, the little light pattern, which was a backwards three in the bottom of the cup. So what happens is the light comes in from a distance, hits the edge of the cup, and reflects down. It's rather complicated, but what we're going to do to explain it. So we're going to idealize everything by pretending that the light is coming in horizontally and hitting a semicircular reflector. Now, we can actually explain the, this pink pattern, which is called a caustic. Caustic is the Greek word to burn. And as we saw, that pink backwards three here on the light board, which you saw in the bottom of the cup, is a focus point. And the light focuses there due to a coincidence of reflections. This is an example of optic kinematics. Let's see where the rays are going. So here's one ray coming in from infinity, and it hits the semicircular mirror. We just look at the tangent, pre pre presuming that it's flat. There's the normal. So we know from simple reflection, like a billiard ball, hits, reflects, this angle is the same as that one, comes down, and is going to hit again. The point is, it's tangent to this caustic, as it's called. Let's do another one. Let's, I modeled this tangent here, so let's try to connect it up. Here comes the incoming light ray. This angle here, it's reflected at the same angle. And you can see that it's tangent down here. Now, as I slide down in the end, we're going to have the tangent here, and that's just normal reflection in and out. It's going to go in and in and then reflect back. So that conjunction of all the tangents, which is called the envelope, gives me the pattern of the caustic. Now, a little bit about dynamics. To the right of the caustic, if you go back and look at the video, it's, it's all kind of filled in with light. So this is all illuminated region to the right of this caustic. To the left of the caustic, it's dark. That means shadow. So we have a transition between illumination and shadow. Now across this caustic boundary, it's not this. It doesn't just go from illumination to shadow instantaneously. Rather, kind of oscillates up and down and then decays away into shadow. So we have a model of illumination going into shadow. That's a hint about dynamics, and we've done kinematics. Now we have to look at kinematics a little more in depth to understand the basic idea behind reflection and refraction.